Yeah, or anyway, <laughs> really. It's going to it's going to get you. Okay. It's going to okay. get you, sucker. Anyways. Uh so they're outside of the vault now. They're stuck up against this wall and now it's Richard's turn to be a badass. Him just kind of like well, she did it. Now I'm going to try it. He extends his hand out and he shoots black lightning. Yeah. Seriously though, does the lightning represent something? Or is it just a thing that the gift does? Because Toby had it too. Well, in the sis- Or are the colors important? Like Jedi situation here? The sister's lightning is black too? The, the sisters of the dark are I talking. think the subtractive uh, yeah. side of the gift is black lightning. Yeah. yeah. But so- Kaylin's is blue. She's got her own thing. And Toby's... Uh, Toby's, what color was Toby's yeah, lightning? No, no, we'll get into that. We'll, okay. we'll talk about that too. Cause yeah, I feel like there's something there that it's probably not that hard to understand, but we'll, we'll get into it. <laughs> so the smoke seems to ignite and then howl. The books all catch fire. Richard is in some kind of stupor while this is happening. He's like, Rawr, I'm awesome with my lightning, mm. but it, it's taking a lot out of him. You know, he's kind of focused on that one thing. It it almost seemed like the Marizwith trance that he was in before. Like, oh keeps, yeah, he keeps getting in these weird, like, weird trance like things in this book. I get it because I'm the exact same way when I don't have my coffee in the morning. So that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Plus, also, he's like, "Fuck yes, <laughs> I'm so, being awesome." Yeah. He feels a deep rumble in his chest and below his feet. Kalen grabs his arm and screams that they have to run, which snaps him out of it. Yo, dude, you, you did it. That, this is, yeah, good job. Let's fucking go. I feel like I, I would like to see Kalen just slap him out of it. Like, hey, not the fucking time. Dude, let's go. Yeah, see, see the books? They're on fire. That's, that's why we came. Let's go. <laughs> you know what else can burn? We can. Yeah. Knees to chest, motherfucker. Vault means we're deep in the fucking palace. We need to go. But since he used the lightning, which pretty much hit the the smoky haze, it hit this invisible barrier, it just kind of blasts everything. The the barrier's gone, and they can run for their lives. And then they're fucking running down the hallway, making their way through the palace, and they can see their shadows getting longer and longer while this bright light gets closer and the howl's pitch keeps getting higher and higher. And it's a very intense moment and I fucking love it. Yeah, it's like every movie when you see the people running out of the burning building that's about to explode. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's slow motion. Nobody ever looks back or even flinches. They jump just before but, the blast. But this, this. This is what you want. You don't want an invisible phantom thing grabbing Kalen's with no explanation at all. No, there is a giant, uh, what we can only perceive to be an explosion about to happen, and they're doing the badass run through the palace. Will they make it? Won't they make it? Holy shit, what's going to happen? This is the intensity I want. Yeah. Hopefully everybody's out of the pop, because shit's about to go down. <laughs> yeah, your last chance to leave was like 10 seconds ago. I'm sorry. But they, I like to picture, kick down the door to the palace, and they burst out of it into a pitched battle. Now, they need to get away. That's clear. So, they start running across the battlefield, ducking and weaving in between these soldiers, only engaging them when they absolutely have to. There's imperial, obviously imperial order dudes and blood people. Right, right, exactly. There's a little smattering of everybody here. And they make their way across the battlefield as fast as they can, and they tuck in behind some rocks, while Hall's Band mm-hmm. Island explodes into a display that would make a nuclear bomb seem like a poppet. I do have to say, you skipped over Richard's really crazy epic uh shit that goes down on his way oh. out oh that's i only wanted to pay it its due so we could talk about that a little bit more in depth while they're running richard does this fucking thing to a guy i know that's an incredible a thing detail to a, guy. a thing to a guy he does this incredible thing to where he like hooks his elbow around his leg and knocks him on the ground while at the same time keeping pace with Kaylin, who we all know can run incredibly fast and keep up with Richard. 
Yeah. And he doesn't even skip a beat. Like, yeah. Doesn't slow him down at all. The the move that, that that was described, I don't think I've ever seen even in a fucking an unbelievable movie where they he did, like scoops the dude's knee and swoops him up around while running as fast as he fucking can and then elbows another dude in the nose and stabs another one like he, he fucking <laughs> oh it, it's a lot all while running full tilt with Kaylin not falling behind even a little bit it is in fucking tense uh but yeah it's it's pretty incredible that he's able to pull this stuff off with everything that's happening around him i feel like that would be impossible for me to pull off yeah no i think it would be impossible for like humans Anyone? like yeah like <laughs> humans people. in general like I just running running with another person is hard enough like just even holding hands with one other person even if they're the same like physical capacity as you are I feel like is not an easy thing to do let alone through a pitch battle let alone while you are doing fucking ninja moves that don't exist right no shit okay I found it it's right here I'm gonna I'm gonna risk something naughty uh, okay, when one of the Imperial Order soldiers lunged at him, driving a boot towards him, sorry, driving a oh, boot okay. toward okay. him to stop him, Richard sidestepped, hooked his arm under the man's leg, and flipped him aside, hardly slackening his headlong rush. Okay, so the guy's ar- leg was lifted up. Now, how, <laughs> I guess, I guess you have to decide in your head how high up this Imperial Order soldier had his fucking leg trying to kick Richard. I, okay, the only way I could see this happening without Richard really having to break his stride, because he does sidestep, and we watch guys do that while playing football all the time. Mm-hmm. That can be done really quickly. I feel like while as long as you're- holding hands and not breaking a step. Well, I mean, not necessarily not breaking a step. I, he does have to make the move, which is going to slow down his forward momentum, but like, if that guy's leg is sticking out at all, you don't really have to bend down that far to get your leg. It doesn't necessarily have to be underneath. It could be right up in the crotch area. But as long as you can get your arm through there, a guy Richard's size could potentially just lift up and knock the guy off his balance enough to where he is essentially flipped out of the way. Now, when I read it, it seems like Richard does this whole super spin move, lifts him up, and then like throws him 10 feet into the air. Yeah. That didn't happen. I think it's more of a, I knocked him over, but yeah. by hooking his leg with my arm, which would still be tough, he was able to like shove him out of the way. It does make more sense. Yeah, I think that I would just, be the only way. My mind also kind of want to p- wants to picture the Imperial Order Man with his leg like all the way up. Super high, like high kick style. And, <laughs> like he was in the middle of a stretch for some yeah. reason. Like, look what I can do. And Richard grabbing it that way. I'd be like, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'd like to see him pull a Thor, just grab the whole foot and whip him yeah, over his head him once around. or twice. Yeah, cartoon style. But okay, okay, sorry. I just, I, I wanted to stop and talk about that. That's why I skipped it. It was incredible. Um, not quite as incredible as the giant explosion that takes place. They tuck behind this rock, and, I mean, it's a nuclear bomb. It is a nuclear bomb that goes off. There is light. There's, like, a second burst of air that hits them after the fact. Things are being shredded apart. Not the, the town on the outside of the island. Just the island. To be fair, it's kind of nice that there was, like, a battle happening because it kind of warned the people, like, hey, maybe it's not a good time to go by the palace right now. Maybe uh, take a little trip, go a little farther out. And then the palace, like, slowly filled with light before exploding. So, like, from far away away, you could be like, oh, shit, it's going down over there. (laughs) I'm going to, let's go over on that hill and uh, watch from over there. Yeah. Distance is probably a good idea. I like to picture like air raid sirens going off at the same time. The drummer resumed. <laughs> this is more of an urgent, like banging. Triple speed. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> yeah. Time to go. But in the well, he doesn't because in the quiet darkness afterwards, it's hard to see. But Richard knows that the palace of the prophets was gone. Kalen says, you did it. And Richard's like, no, we did it. He breaks the fourth wall, looks directly into the camera. Yeah. 
That's fucking perfect. <laughs> McKaylin says, look, I'm glad that you grabbed the book. I want to see what else this thing says about you. Oh, you mean the fact that now that I just dropped a palace, I have 45 pound balls? Oh, that's going to be yes. heavy. Yes, they are. Oh. <laughs> He's just that badass. Oh, maybe it says something about the fact that I just unleashed some crazy shit in a and Drill. Maybe you shouldn't read it. Maybe we should wait. Yeah, can I just have that book over here? I'm going to keep it in my pack and forget yeah. it with my knife. Did I say forget it? I said mm. take it with. Maybe. <laughs> So she says, I'm glad that it's over. And he's like, oh, no, 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 no. We're only on book three. It has just begun. But we have to get to Aiden Drill now. This this is checked off the list. We can take the sliff there. It'll be fine. Oh, my God. But see, see, here we have a second. Shit has calmed down. It is quiet. She's like, it's over. He has a perfect opportunity to explain why it has just begun. What is wrong in Aiden Drill? And he chooses to be like, Let's go. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, Richard. on the way there. Now yeah. that the now that the intensity is over. Now explain. You're, now you're just walking. Yes. Yeah. Now is the time. And he's like, no, not now. Yeah. I'll wait till you see it. I gotta do it. <laughs> wait until it's dramatic. <laughs> so when she asks why he hasn't told her exactly what it is, he just says, Oh, you won't believe me. You gotta you gotta see it to believe it. We're talking about the slip now, right? Yes. Uh, and, uh, well, the slip being a horny silver lady trapped in a well that wants to please me, or whatever. Which I get why he hasn't explained <laughs> further what it is. When you describe it like that, of course you didn't explain. Like, that sounds awful. Yeah, no, I get it. I just But expected... her seeing it with her own eyes isn't going to make it any no, better either. No, it's not. I, expect... I expected more from her. I expected her to be asking more questions at this point of him. Because she's just like, why didn't you tell me what we're doing yet? <laughs> Because you're going to hate it. That's why. Because, yeah, well, yeah, pretty much. Uh, but so they make their way to the Sliff, and that is where we leave Richard and Kaylin. But that's not where the chapter ends. Because we find ourselves with Anne and Zed having just witnessed the destruction of the Palace of the Prophets. Because they made it out. Yes. Thank Yay. fuck they made it out. Now, Zed apologizes to Anne for the destruction of the palace, but he won't take credit for it. It was more like, hey, I'm sorry that your house is fucking gone, uh, but, but it wasn't me. But she's like, dude, you stacked the pyre perfect. Like, he had that room set to blow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And apparently slice everybody down with lasers and grab people invisibly and create invisible barriers and shit. It was pretty, yeah, it was impressive what he did. Now, Anne figures a Sister of the Dark must have done it accidentally. And Zed's like, a little more than accident, I'd say, with maybe just a hint of pride. Uh, maybe, and I don't know. I feel like he he knows that it was such a powerful blast. That was something done intentionally. That wasn't somebody, like, tripping a wire. Well, what I'm getting to is he he basically set the grenade in the room. Now, he knows that specific things have to happen to make that pop off. Y yeah, so, in such a manner, I think. Yeah, so my question then would be, is Zed trying to imply his part in that wasn't accidental or because they were talking about a sister of the dark accidentally doing it is he trying to imply that he knows what needed to happen which i'm sure he does in order to set it off and that maybe just maybe it wasn't a sister of the dark maybe it was somebody trying to blow that shit up on purpose maybe somebody like his grandson i think it was i think it's more like that uh i think he thought it could burn or do something else on accident, because that's the way he said it. Like, hopefully, if somebody comes in here and pops off in some way, it'll burn. But I think he knows that it has to take a certain amount of, like, knowledgeable purpose to ignite it in the way that it was fucking ignited. And so I think maybe he's not, like, yes, that was Richard in there. Because he would, if he thought for, like, even a, like, a small part of him thought that was Richard, I don't think he would be complicit in standing here right now. I think he would be like, I'm going back there because that was my fucking, I'm going to find him wherever oh, he is. If he thought it was, he would He would want to go make sure he was okay. But I do think he thinks it was probably something done on purpose by whoever did it. Okay, all right, that's fair. So they see a group of Sisters of the Light heading north safely away from the destruction when, fuck, hey, at least they are okay. One good thing happened. Yeah. 
Now, they're standing in the spot where...